All right, folks, this is interesting stuff. Basically, Amazon is shaking things up by replacing Alexa AI with Anthropic's Claude AI model. And this new and improved version of Alexa is set to deliver more advanced and natural conversations. But there are some unexpected elements in the mix. I mean, could this be the next big thing for smart assistants? Or is Amazon taking an unnecessary risk? Anyway, here's what's going on. Amazon has been working on an enhanced Alexa, which is known internally as Remarkable Alexa or Project Banyan for quite some time. And, you know, initially they were using their own AI, but things didn't go as planned during testing. Basically, reports from Reuters indicated that Amazon's in-house AI struggle with response times, sometimes lagging for as long as six or even seven seconds, and let's be real, folks, in a world where we expect instant replies like that from ChatGPT or Claude, that kind of delay just isn't acceptable. So essentially, that's when Amazon decided to pervert and turn to Anthropic, which is a San Francisco-based AI research company founded by former OpenAI members. So you might know that Anthropic's AI, particularly its Claude model, has been gaining attention for its ability to handle context and hold more natural, human-like conversations. And it's outperformed Amazon's AI in crucial tests, making the switch a no-brainer. And on top of that, Amazon even invested $4 billion in Anthropic. So I guess it makes sense they're relying on Claude's tech for this new Alexa. So guys, what can we expect from the new and remarkable Alexa? Amazon says it's going to be a big upgrade compared to what we have now, because basically the goal is for Alexa to engage in more complex, context-aware conversations. For example, you could ask for advice on what to pack for a Bali beach vacation or request a summary of news based on your specific interests. Plus, and this is really great, Alexa will be able to handle multiple tasks in one go. Imagine saying, um, Alexa, order pizza, draft an email to my boss, and, uh, I don't know, set a reminder for my dentist appointment. And it all gets done seamlessly. But there is a catch, folks, because Amazon plans to make this enhanced Alexa a paid subscription service. So unlike the Alexa we're used to, which has been free... The new one will cost between $5 and $10 a month. And no, it won't be included with your Prime membership. Uh, so it's an additional fee on top of that. I guess Amazon is banking on the fact that these advanced AI features will justify the price tag. But it's a risky move. After all, asking people to pay for something they've always gotten for free is a very tough sell. And even with Amazon, some folks are skeptical, especially since many customers are already paying $139 a year for Prime. Is this a good idea? Bad idea? Let me know in the comments what you think, guys, about this pricing. So folks, why is Amazon pushing this now? Well, I guess it comes down to money and competition. Because despite Alexa's popularity... Amazon has sold over 5 million Alexa-enabled devices. The voice assistant division hasn't been as profitable as Amazon would like. So basically, company leadership has been pushing for Alexa to generate more revenue. And they see 2024 as a crucial year to prove its value. And the hope is that offering a more advanced paid Alexa will turn it from a cost center, something that costs more to maintain than it earns, into a revenue generator. So with around 100 million active Alexa users, if even 10% decide to go for the paid version, Amazon could bring in at least $600 million a year, even at the lower end of the price range. So yeah, this partnership with Anthropic is definitely a notable shift for Amazon, especially if you consider that normally Amazon prefers to build its own technology from scratch, which gives them full control over everything, like from the user experience to data collection. But you know, folks, with companies like Microsoft and Apple teaming up with OpenAI to integrate ChatGPT into their products, I guess Amazon likely felt the pressure to step up and keep pace with the competition. And it's not just about staying relevant because the AI race is getting really serious and every major company is trying to offer the most advanced, intuitive and human-like AI assistant possible. Just think that last year's release of ChatGPT really changed the game, basically showing what people want AI to handle naturally. 
conversational interactions and not just respond to basic commands. So, like many, Amazon is making sure they don't get left behind. So what's next for this new Alexa, folks? First off, it's expected to be much better at integrating with other smart home devices while remembering your personal preferences. Just imagine it as your personal assistant who truly knows all your little habits, whether that's dimming the lights to your favorite level in the evening or starting the coffee maker at exactly 7 a.m. Hopefully, this new Alexa will handle it all without a hitch. And for parents, there's buzz that the new AI will offer unique interactions for kids because it could help them with homework, uh, play educational games, or even tell more interactive bedtime stories than we've seen before making it an even more engaging part of family life. But, you know, this is a really sensitive issue. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this interaction between AI and children? For this very reason, some people are raising concerns about privacy and data collection as Amazon moves towards a more advanced AI model because basically with Alexa potentially handling more sensitive information, there are valid questions about how that data will be used, stored or even shared. And so far, uh, very interestingly, Amazon hasn't provided much detail on how they plan to address these issues. But it's definitely something worth keeping an eye on, especially as AI continues to evolve and play a bigger role in our daily lives. Now, while Alexa is grabbing most of the headlines, it's not the only AI project Amazon is working on because if you weren't aware, they've also been developing an internal AI system called Amazon Q. So if you haven't heard much about that, that's because it's mainly used behind the scenes as a tool to streamline software development across the company. But here's the kicker, folks, because Amazon Q has reportedly saved the company a staggering $260 million and 4,500 developer years. That's right, 4,500 years of development time saved. How, you might ask? By automating a lot of the tedious repetitive processes that usually take developers ages to complete, like, uh, for example, Upgrading a system to a new version of Java used to take around 50 development days, but thanks to Amazon Q, that same task now takes just a few hours. And this has been uh, a massive boost to productivity and efficiency. So basically, by freeing up developers to focus on more creative and complex tasks, Amazon Q is helping the company run smoother and faster behind the scenes, making it an unsung hero of their internal operations. Well, hero is relative. This is at the cost of several human layoffs, probably. That's always the other side to it, isn't it? I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts on that in the comments below. Anyway, folks, if that wasn't enough, Amazon is making some big moves in AI robotics too because they've recently hired the founders of a robotic startup called Covariant, which is doing some groundbreaking work like developing robotic arms that can handle common tasks and warehouses. And what makes this really interesting is that Covariant is working on a large language model specifically for robots. Basically, their idea is to make robots understand and execute commands in a more intuitive, human-like way, rather than performing actions that feel purely mechanical. And obviously, Amazon has brought in serious talent for this project including the Covariant founders and about a quarter of the company's employees. So they're integrating this technology into Amazon's existing robot fleet, aiming to make warehouse operations even more efficient. So guys, it's pretty clear that Amazon is going all in on AI, like from upgrading Alexa with Anthropic's Claude model to optimizing their internal processes with Amazon Q and now stepping up their robotics game. I guess it's basically all about using AI to make their services smarter, faster, and more connected. And I think this means we are going to see more AI impacting our everyday lives, whether through more advanced voice assistants, highly automated homes, or just quicker, more efficient services from companies like Amazon. So it's an exciting time, but it's also important to stay aware of how these advancements will affect privacy, jobs, and our daily routines. Now, what do you guys think? Would you be willing to pay for this upgraded version of Alexa? Or do you think Amazon should keep it free and find other ways to make money? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more AI news and tech. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.